The boundary between artificial and biological intelligence has been eliminated. Chinese scientists have engineered a robot with a partially living brain, reshaping our understanding of AI and robotics. This isn't science fiction. It's real and it's set to transform everything. A microchip embedded with living brain cells now powers a machine capable of learning and adapting like a biological organism. This groundbreaking development fuses neuroscience with robotics, paving the way for revolutionary applications in medicine, technology, and beyond. However, it also raises significant ethical questions that cannot be ignored. The emergence of the bio-silicon hybrid in a Chinese laboratory has brought to life what many believe to be unattainable. A robot with a brain partially composed of living cells. This brain on a chip utilizes stem cells to cultivate neurons in a laboratory, which are then meticulously placed on a microchip, forming a living neural network. When incorporated into a robot, this network enables it to process information and learn in ways that emulate human cognition. The researchers developed a specialized gel that acted as a scaffold for the cells, allowing them to establish connections and create a functional neural network. This biosilicon brain can forge new connections and pathways, effectively reconfiguring itself based on new information and experiences, much like a human brain. The new paradigm of AI. Unlike traditional AI systems that operate on pre-programmed instructions, this new bio-robot can learn and adapt in ways that imitate biological systems. It doesn't merely process information. It experiences it, forming new neural connections based on its interactions with its environment. In one experiment, the robot was presented with a maze. It progressively learned the layout, similar to a lab rat. It remembered dead ends and optimal routes, enhancing its performance over time without any additional programming. This ability to learn from experience signifies a fundamental shift in our approach to artificial intelligence. Medical marvels, an insight into the brain. This technology unveils new possibilities for understanding and treating neurological disorders. The brain on a chip offers an unprecedented platform for studying brain function at a cellular level. Researchers can observe in real time how neurons form connections, respond to stimuli, and process information. This could lead to breakthroughs in our comprehension of conditions like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and epilepsy. Additionally, this technology could revolutionize drug testing for neurological treatments. Instead of relying on animal models or human trials, researchers could test potential therapies on these lab-grown neural networks, accelerating the development of new treatments and reducing the reliance on animal testing. The $300 million investment in artificial brains. While Chinese researchers are pushing the boundaries with living brain cells, tech giants are heavily investing in purely artificial approaches. Jeff Bezos and SoftBank have invested $300 million in Vicarious, a startup focused on developing a fully artificial robot brain. Their aim is to create a general-purpose AI that can be installed in any robot, enabling it to perform complex tasks without specific programming for each action. This approach shares the same ultimate goal as the bio-silicon hybrid, creating machines that can think and learn like humans. Vicarious's vision of artificial general intelligence, AGI, could result in robots that can adapt to new situations and environments without constant reprogramming. From laboratory to battlefield, the rise of military robotics. As researchers extend the limits of AI and robotics in laboratories, Others are already applying advanced robotics to military uses. Indian company Zen Technologies has introduced Prahasta, a four-legged robot designed for defense operations. This isn't just another parkour bot. Prahasta can carry assault rifles and execute complex military tasks. Equipped with litter technology and advanced AI, Prahasta can navigate challenging terrain, climb stairs, and even carry a fully grown adult. Its auto-resurrection capability enables it to right itself if knocked over, ensuring continued operation in difficult environments. The Ethics of Intelligent Machines As we step into this new domain of biorobotic hybrids and increasingly intelligent machines, we are faced with numerous ethical dilemmas. At what point does a robot with living brain cells become conscious? Do these machines deserve rights or protections? How can we ensure they are used responsibly, especially in military contexts? These are not merely philosophical questions. They are urgent issues that society will need to address as this technology progresses. 
The creation of robots with biological components blurs the distinction between machine and organism, challenging our definitions of life and consciousness. Neuromorphic computing, merging silicon and synapse. The brain on a chip technology represents a fusion of neuroscience and computer science, giving rise to neuromorphic engineering. This field seeks to develop computer architectures that emulate the structure and function of biological neural networks. The biosilicon hybrid robot illustrates how integrating biological elements with artificial systems can create machines that think and learn more like living beings. This approach could lead to computers that are not only more powerful but also more energy efficient, as the human brain consumes far less power than current supercomputers while performing complex cognitive tasks. The Global AI Race, Innovation and Competition The development of biorobotic hybrids and advanced AI systems is part of a global race to lead the field of artificial intelligence. China's breakthrough with brain-on-a-chip technology marks a significant advancement in this competition. The United States, with its tech giants and well-funded startups, is vigorously pursuing purely artificial general intelligence. Other nations, like India with its military robotics developments, are creating niches in specific applications of AI and robotics. This competition is driving rapid innovation but also raises concerns about the potential militarization of AI and the need for international cooperation and regulation. Beyond robots, the future of human-machine interfaces. The implications of this technology extend far beyond standalone robots. The ability to interface living neural tissue with artificial systems opens up new possibilities for human-machine integration. Researchers are investigating ways to use similar technology to create more advanced prosthetics that can be directly controlled by a user's thoughts. This could significantly improve the quality of life for individuals with limb loss or paralysis. Looking further into the future, some scientists speculate about the potential for direct brain-computer interfaces enabling new forms of communication and interaction through direct interfaces with artificial systems. While such applications remain in the realm of science fiction for now, the brain-on-a-chip technology brings us one step closer to these possibilities. Challenges and limitations, the road ahead. Despite the exciting potential of this technology, significant challenges remain. Maintaining the viability of living neural tissue over extended periods is a major obstacle. Researchers must ensure a constant supply of nutrients and the appropriate environmental conditions to keep the brain cells alive and functioning. There are also questions about the scalability of this approach. While the current system exhibits impressive capabilities, creating larger, more complex neural networks that can rival or exceed human-level cognition is still a distant goal. Additionally, there are concerns about the reproducibility and consistency of these biorobotic systems. Unlike purely artificial systems that can be precisely replicated, systems incorporating living components may display more variability. The societal impact, preparing for a new reality. As this technology continues to evolve, its impact will reach far beyond the realms of science and technology. It has the potential to transform our economy, workforce, and even our concept of what it means to be human. Industries ranging from healthcare to manufacturing could be revolutionized by robots capable of learning and adapting like biological organisms. This could lead to increased productivity and new solutions to complex problems, but it could also result in substantial job displacement. Education systems will need to adjust to prepare students for a world where humans work alongside intelligent machines. From science fiction to science fact, what's next? The development of robots with partially living brains marks a significant milestone in the journey from science fiction to science fact. As this technology matures, we can anticipate more advanced biorobotic systems with greater capabilities. The boundary between artificial and biological intelligence will continue to blur, potentially leading to entirely new categories of intelligent systems. Researchers are already considering the possibility of creating more complex neural networks potentially even replicating entire regions of the human brain. While such advancements are still distant, they highlight the vast potential of this field. The future of AI and robotics is no longer just about creating faster, more powerful machines. It's about creating systems that can think, learn, and adapt in ways that were once exclusive to biological organisms. As we stand on the brink of this new era, one thing is certain, the world of tomorrow will be shaped by the breakthroughs happening in labs today.
The development of robots with partially living brains is more than a scientific achievement. It's a glimpse into a future where the lines between artificial and biological intelligence are increasingly blurred. As we navigate this new landscape, we must balance our pursuit of innovation with careful consideration of its implications. The journey ahead is filled with both promise and challenges. It will require collaboration across disciplines, thoughtful policymaking, and ongoing dialogue about the ethical implications of these technologies. The era of biorobotic intelligence is here. How we choose to shape it will determine the course of technological progress for generations to come. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more intriguing topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.